Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are Indian Sibling. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a player that's shooting up bullets. So let's get started. First, I'm going to go on to the costumes and I'm just going to be deleting all that color. So we're going to start designing some things here. So what we need to do is um make a circle. I'm just going to make a quick circle here for my player. Just going to select it. See if I can move it around. Okay. Wait. For some reason, I'm trying to move it around. I'm going to use a box. You can use any shape. I say I'm just going to use a box. Oh, if I can just move this. Okay, there. We have a box. Now we need to line. And what we need to do is we need to... Oh, wow. It's not letting me curve it. Okay, well, what we need to do is make lines like this, okay? Then what I'm going to do is make arms like this coming out. Actually, wait, let's make this shorter. How about we do this? Then we make shorter arms. Here, then to here. There, now we have our arms. Like that. Maybe I can... Oh, okay, wait. It became a one whole sprite. Oh. Wow, there's something strange going on. This might be a glitch but it's fine at least i can shift it now okay that it works now so now we can take our line to okay the line's still not working for some reason but we can fix that we can just let's say from here here and then we can go down here and then we can go down there we go that's good now we're gonna get on we now we're gonna oh wow okay there i fixed the prob we were holding shift okay so if you hold shift it will give you a perfect square so wait the line tool is working now okay there now we can simply just make a diagonal line if this is thing working Oh, sorry guys, it's taking a long time to design. You, if you guys design it early, it will just take a few seconds. You can add some color here. Now that we have our character done, I'm just gonna fix the little things. As coming out here, as you can see, you can just fix that problem. By bringing it a little up, then that's coming up then we can just shrink it lower there it's not visible okay there we go and we can shrink it even more here there oh it's a little okay there we go that's better we can turn it there just keep it like this there so now that we have this done, we can add a fill to the gun. And we can make it dark gray, like this. Like that. And then we don't have to fill in our player. I'll, I'll just fill him in white. And go to the backdrops and give the backdrop a dark gray color. There. Oh, just got to convert to bitmap here. There we go. Now, as you can see, it's more clear. Now, what I'm going to do is we're going to start moving our character. I'm going to start with a one flag clicked. I'm going to add a forever. Let me zoom up. There. We're going to add a if. Then you're going to add one of this. Then we're going to duplicate this. And then duplicate one of these only because there's not going to be any down arrow so i'm going to right left and up arrow okay 
Now what I'm going to do is go to motion and then turn this. You can change the y. You can just put in any value and then for the y up arrow we can just place a move steps. We can just change. I'm just going to change this to 4. Change this to 4 and steps I'm going to change to 6. So when we were to try this. It's going to be turning and our player is moving, as you can see. Let's just change this to, let's say, 3. Yeah, that's better. Let me zoom up and we can see that our player is eventually moving. Isn't that so cool, guys, in just this small block of code? Whee! Now... I'm just going to adjust my player a bit here. Just going to add. Oh, gonna go into this mouse pointer. Take it out a little. Yeah. And then. I don't want. Yes. There. That's better. So. And then we can just center this between there. Now we're going to create a new sprite. And we're just going to make a yellow rectangle. That's going to be the bullet. So here we can just make a rectangle. And you'll just remove the outline. You can keep, I'm going to keep the outline. You can keep, you can remove it if you'd like. But I would like to keep it. So now we have our bullet and our player. Now, we're going to be starting to cook our bullet. So, for our bullet, we're going to have to start. We're going to start to use look blocks. So, we're going to start with a when flat clicked, of course. And we're going to put a hide. Now, we need to go to the player again and add a when flat clicked. Oh, when we have well, when flag clicked, we can add a forever loop. Get a uh, if, then we can. I'm just gonna take space. You can also put mouse down if you wanted to shoot when the mouse is down. Now we're gonna take a uh, create clone of sprite two, which is the bullet. Then we need to add a wait seconds. Now, if you want to make the bullets shoot up fast, you can just add nothing in it. But I'm just going to add two, say, 0 0.5 seconds. Now, let's go back into the bullet and start coding that. So, we need to take, uh, oh. when I start as a clone, we need to show it. And then we can say, now we have to say, go back 99 layers. Otherwise, it would like go like somewhere near the gun, which we don't want. We not we want it going out the gun. So I'm just gonna make this a little smaller and make the outline one. Yeah, that's better. Maybe thicken the outline. That's better. Yeah. And then I can just do this there. So when when we show, we can say, go back here. It's go backward 99 layers. Then we're gonna go here, go to uh, sprite one, which is our player. Let, let me just name these. Player, 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 and then we can name this bullet. Then we're gonna put a really, really cool code. It is uh, 
we're gonna get a point in direction. So here, let's find it. Point in direction. And go and find. Go to sensing and then we will go down here and get, get a backdrop of stage. Add that on the point of direction and then we can add a go over here on the stage and say player then you'll get new options and then write down direction point in direction direction point in direction direction of player then i'm just gonna put 15 steps and then we can say repeat until well i mean 10 steps here and then repeat until repeat repeat until touching edge then let's say move 15 steps 15 steps and then write down delete this clone otherwise it won't delete when it touches the edge if you want to add this it will not delete as you can see here okay wait Let's add the delete this clone first. And as you can see, our thing is working really, really smoothly. And yeah, we got this working. Now, let me show you what happens if we hadn't added this delete this clone. Otherwise, it wouldn't disappear when it touches the edit. It would stay there and it won't hide, as you can see. It's just like it just stays there. So what we're gonna do is just add the delete this clone. Not in here, if we add it in there, it like it won't shoot because we stopped it. So we need to add it there, then it'll shoot. So here like this. Now here's what will happen if you just remove everything. It'll be like, it'll just, as you can see, if we were to uh, like not have this, it would just create a line it will create a line and you can add this power up into the game if you'd like it'll, you can add zombies and other things and then you can use this as a power up every time you get a power up you can just add this as a scatter across like wow it's like it shoots out like double <laughs> like that so cool so cool Let's just change this to 0 0.2. Oop. Oop. Let's see. Okay. Uh, so here, there, I changed it to 0 0.2. And maybe you can add, like, let's say, duplicate this. Control C, Control V. And then add that there. It will be double bullets. Like, we do do this and then you start it'll shoot doubles or like you can keep it like this to add doubles like this you can make this go like that and then control V that up there and then add it like this that'll be quite cool bang 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 so Guys, I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to check out more tutorials, check in the link description below. See you soon. Bye.